so I've started doing this um, marrow soup and I thought I'd just show you what I do. So I've started cutting marrow, uh, they're the ones that I grew and because uh, that one's going orange yellow so and i just took i'm going to finish chopping this and i'm going to chop that up and uh, then i'll show you what we do from there so i'm just cutting an onion up to go in with it i've also got i don't know why my voice sounds so croaky on videos because it's not i don't think it is anyway i've also got some like bits of vegetables that i give out fridge do you know like just like i don't know if i'll be able to salvage anything off that uh, got that, um, some little bits of chilli, um, I've got a full chilli, um, this pepper that's got a bit wrinkly, that'll be fine in a soup. So I'm going to chop them up and I've got some basil to put in um, and then I'll show you what I'm cooking it in. I'm going to sauté onions for, ooh, first um, and I'll show you that. So I'm sauteed onions. Oh, it's not that nice onions. Fried onions. I'll just show you what I'm using. So it's this Drew and Coal. It does um, multifunction. It does rice, it does uh, sauté, browning, low, slow cook, high and low. Steam, pasta, stew, soup, um, what's that one? Roast meat, fish, poach, bread, ri bread rice, bake, and yogurt, and DIY. We do use it quite often. It is quite a good little uh, kitchen accessory. So I've, um, I've chopped all them. I've chopped most of these. This is a handy little thing that I got. I think I got it from uh, TK Maxx. Um, it's like a, you put your onions in. You've probably seen it before, but when you've chopped half an onion, you can put it in there. So yeah, you don't need to chop it too finely um, because we're going to use submersion blender after. Okay. So I've also uh, chopped four cloves of gar garlic that I forgot to chop. So I'm going to add that into the mix as well. I keep it in this um, little terracotta pot and uh, put this wax um, cover on it. And it just seems to keep it quite fresh. Don't dry out as bad. So I'll just put that in the cooker. So this has been sautéing for a good few minutes and uh, it just helps all flavours mix together. Um, I've just chopped that chalet and then I just stuck my finger in the eye and burnt my eye. Does anybody else do that? Is it just me fogging up? So yeah, I'm going to put this uh, marrow in. Don't worry, I, I used to um, leave the seeds in. But I, I don't know today, I, I didn't have to, I, I, I peeled it and I used to leave all peeling. Um, I peeled it and took all seeds out, I don't know why. But um, if you're using a, a submerger blender, you'll be fine leaving it on, it's no it's no issue. There's it like, you can see the seed there, that's no issue. I'm just going to get a quick stir and then I'm going to put the water and stop cubing. They're quite good these uh, machines. I thought about getting a, an air fryer but it's just how many machines can you have or gadgets in your kitchen and it's storing them. So yeah I'm just going to put water and stop cubing. So I've put water in at stop cube so you can see that I've not covered all the vegetables the marrow because it's stopped, it needs doing again. So you have to cancel it and then choose your. I keep it on high 
on search. No, I've kind of gone past it. I keep it on eye, um, to be fair, for a while, and then I put it on high cook. So I've just got some bay leaves out. I keep them in this little jar, in this little mason jar. And I think I'm going to put four I count them because then I can find them because I have blitzed them before and they can be a little bit tough in soup. So, um, yeah, so I was saying, so you don't need to cover all these vegetables because all the, there's so much water content in them anyway. Um, so just keep an eye on it and see if it needs any more water. But I'm just going to leave it like that as it is and I'm going to just put it down and then I'm going to leave it. It's got another 15 minutes so tying. Uh, and it just brings it up to, I like to do that because it just brings it up to temperature. And then I'm just going to put it on a high, uh, slow cook for an hour or so and see how we get on from there. So I'll chat back with you then. Okay, so it's finished cooking. I just like turned it off and it continued on its own as well. Um, I thought as well, I should have mentioned, I usually put... Um, some potato in it and it just like gives it a bit more creaminess but there's cauliflower in it which just so um, so it should be fine so i'm going to take these um bay leaves out let's put them outside if i can find oh there's one there look it's not easy when you're filming is it I keep stopping and starting at home. So there should be two more. Is that one? Yep. Oh, one more to get. Like a lucky dip. Did I just see one that oh, is that one? I think that was it. I think it was, yep. Yeah. Oh. I'll flick it on the side. I'll clean it up in a minute. So I'm just going to blitz it. I'll turn um, I'll turn the camera off while I'm doing that because you don't need to be listening to that. I've just decanted it into a saucepan and just tasted it and it tastes beautiful. It doesn't really need a great deal more. I am just going to put, because I can, a little bit of black pepper in and um, it's quite spicy as it is because i put them chilies in but um yeah it's really nice I'm just warming it through because i'm just gonna put you see how it's gone quite creamy that's the um cauliflower it tastes absolutely gorgeous even if i do say so myself and then i'm just gonna put i usually put a full one of these in um, it's um, from Aldi, it's like Parmesan, but not Parmesan. So I usually put a full one of these in, but I haven't got a full one, so um, I'm just going to put, so I concentrate on getting the uh, package open. I'm going to put what I've got in. And sometimes I put cream in. But I don't think there's any need for any cream today. It's uh, it's nice and creamy as it is, to be fair. And that's just, I mean, it's filling. That's that'll last. For, I will put some in for it, for it though. Um, it'll last for ages. That, and it's just basically if you were like perhaps three quarts of an onion, a marrow that I grow myself, and then just vegetables out of the fridge that they were on, that were on the way out and for garlic cloves and some spices and it is really nice so uh, I'll serve that with some um, creme fraiche and I'll show you the finished product in a sec so there you go that's the end result doesn't that look fancy and it tastes really nice so why don't you try it and give me a comment and see how you get on 
but yeah i might put just in a bit more parmesan on top might not i don't know just to see how it how it goes but yeah so thanks for watching if you like this video give us a comment and a thumbs up and please subscribe to help my channel grow and i'll see you again soon thank you bye